Hello, my fix and everything. And because there is always something to be fixed today, I had a, they gave me a computer, like a small weekly present for the channel. Uh, because it's not working, they throw it away. And I bought a new computer. They don't know the fault. So, uh, I found the fault. I went to undo the fan and this is the state I found it in okay that's how I found it here this AMD CPU uh, box heater originally it got little taps on the legs that get slotted into these openings here on the motherboard now I tried to find them, I can find them, I can find them, definitely, from uh, AliExpress, and I should wait for them, and whatnot, so just chop them off, yeah, I think that's the easiest thing we can do, chop them off, and and live happy life after there we go, one more how are we gonna pull this one out? Now, after we chop them off, by the way, if you want to repair them, don't chop, don't, don't chop them off. What I'm gonna do now, there we go. Now, <clears throat> I'll use zip ties and I'll squeeze it very tightly. I already cleaned the surface here. I don't know if you can see, can you? Yes, you can, maybe. Just enough. Now, let's get some zip ties. I wanted to use a bigger zip tie. I just checked it. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. So, let's see this one. Almost. Barely. Just barely fits in. Well, that's, that's okay. If it fits, even barely. Now we need something to be pulling straight on the opening on the top. So I'm thinking a piece of maybe maybe a little bolt or something, a screw maybe. Let's put some thermal paste on this one first. I should have some somewhere. There we go. made out of very nice East European company that's why it's in a maybe I should move the yeah let me you should see better now mm. 
Very good. Brilliant. I have here a small collection of bolts. We can use it definitely. And what I'm gonna do, I'll just take this one like that. Then take the heater, feed this one through here. Take a small screw, should be fine. Feed this one back and then get it on the other side. Yeah, you get what I'm, what I'm doing? Great, just great. Good. Now let's do the same on the other side. Much as you see, that's how much I see, almost. Now I think I will need to chop this one off and just feed it and that's how I'm gonna remove it as well for the next time. You definitely don't want to do any overclocking and you want to clean it up. Oh, it's so old that does it really matter? Okay. Tomorrow and we're done. I'll speed up the video. I'm not gonna show you how I assemble it. You 
have a smaller screw, very nice. Nice little screw. No, it doesn't even move. Very nice. One more and we're done. Oh, this looks solid. Absolutely solid. And you're gonna wait for some plastic to arrive from the other side of the world instead of taking some other type of plastic and making it work good How should I hold it? No, it's good if it happens from the first time, otherwise this thing gets a little bit tricky to... I think that's good. It's lovely. You like it? I think it's brilliant. Okay. Well, I'll just put it back together and I'll see if it works. Unfortunately, the computer it doesn't start, uh, but uh, you can't always win. I'm sure that it's not because of the the problem. It sounds more like a, a power supply, at least the sound here. Well, I hope the video is being helpful to you. I think it will be a good idea if someone trying to solve this uh, heater problem quickly. That's it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.